This active stretch workout is perfect to alternate with cardio and strength workouts so you can maintain mobility and flexibility and a little bit of strength. For more variety and class options, we offer gentle stretch, mind, body, and so much more in our daily live class schedule at silversneakers.com. Visit our website and see if you're eligible to join our virtual live classes, because you know what? I would love to work out with you. I'll be doing this workout from a standing position using a chair for standing support options. All of the exercises can be modified and done from a seated position if you prefer. Let's begin with a little walk. Great way to get our muscles warmed up and ready to stretch out just a little tiny bit. Lift your chest, roll your shoulders back and down. Great posture is always important. All right, change is coming. In four, three, heel out in front nice and easy. Place it back in and switch sides. Flex your foot, sink down into the supporting leg just a little bit. If it's comfortable for you, both arms reach out in front. Last time, little walk right here. Changing direction, four, three, tap to the side. Tap, come in, switch, point your toe. Good, I'm gonna reach across my heart at a little rotation through my spine, through my low back. We'll do four more. Walk in place. Anchor both feet down, this foot comes forward, heel down, toes up, We'll melt and sink back. Push your hips back, weights in the supporting leg, and come up nice and tall. Let's do that again. If it's comfortable for you, both arms will reach out. Come up nice and tall. Put your, push your hips straight back, then pull under and come up tall. And we'll do that one more time. Step in. Switch sides, heel down, toe up, and sink. We'll rise and reach. Both arms if you're comfortable. Once more. Step back in. Shoulders roll forward, up, back, and down. Three more times. Reset your posture, chin to chest. Feel a nice stretch in the back of your neck. Lift your chin, ear to shoulder, back to center. Other side. Center. Now rotate your face. Return to center. Other side. Hands on thighs, melt down, pushing your hips back. Tuck your tailbone round your spine. Lengthen, push your hips back. Anchor down into your feet, come up tall. Let me show you from a side view. So I'm gonna melt and sink, finding the depth that's right for me, and then I'm tucking and rounding. Lengthening, pushing through my feet, coming up nice and tall. Let's pick up the pace just a little tiny bit. Now connect your breath with your movement. Maybe an inhale here, an exhale here, an inhale here, and exhale rise. We'll do that two more times. Return to center, reset your posture. Weight is in this foot, other leg comes forward. 
split stance, find a comfortable distance apart. Now shift your weight forward, lift your chest up, shoulders back, and keep this heel pressed down. You should feel a nice stretch in your hip flexor, maybe in your calf muscle just a little tiny bit. I'm gonna stretch my arms back. Now I'm gonna shift my weight back, lift my toe, hips go down, chest stays up. Arms might come up. If you feel comfortable letting go of the chair, the other one comes up. And let's see if we can find a little flow with this. We'll come up, shift your weight forward, sink back. Again. One more time. Everything comes down. You're up tall, shoulders are back, feet are flat on the ground. We'll hip hinge here, finding more of a stretch in our low back, behind our hips, and into our hamstrings. If you're seated, we'd recommend coming forward about halfway. All right, we'll rise here. Add a little rotation to this side. Return to center. Let's put those two movements together. So I'm gonna hip hinge and reach behind. Then I'm gonna come up nice and tall and I'm gonna rotate. Perhaps you release from the chair. All right, let's smooth this out just a little bit more. Hinge. Rise, rotate, return to center. Can we put all those moves together? Bend your front knee, reach forward, shoulders are back. Shift your weight back, lift your toe. Everything comes down, chest comes up, hip hinge. Rise tall. Rotate, return to center. One more time, bend your front knee, shift back, stand tall, hip hinge, rise, rotate, return to center. Good, let's step back. Take your arm out to the side, sweep across. And open, push back, rotate your palm up, thumb goes to the back of the room or the woods behind you. One more time. Just a nice little mobility stretch for the shoulder. Now this time we're gonna come across our heart. We're gonna tuck and we're gonna hold. And if you wanna use your other hand to draw in a little bit more, some people find a little bit more of a stretch there. And let's circle our wrists. Other way. Let's bring our arm out in front, support behind your elbow. Bend your elbow, pat yourself on the back, same side, and then guide your elbow up. Elbow releases down. Elbow goes up. One more time. Pause here, reach up, release the arm. Arm floats down, palm is forward and reaches towards the back of the room. Release down, sweep to the side. Choose if you want to stretch up and anchor down to the ground or add on one little progression with a little side lean. Hips go to the side. We're gonna rise and float down. Reset posture. Other leg goes out in front. Bend your front knee. Draw your shoulders back and feel the stretch in your hip flexor, calf muscle. Maybe arms reach back. Shift back. Arms can come forward or up. Both arms if you feel good. Let's put that together. Shift back.
one more time. Feet and arms come down, chest comes up, and then hinge from the hip. Take a little bow. Just take your time. Find a good range of motion for you. Great stretch in the hamstring. Arms reach back if you want them. All right, we rise. We rotate. Let's put it together. Return to center. Hip hinge. Tall. Rotate. Return one more time. Rise. Rotate to center and let's put it all together. Bend your front knee. Shift back. Lift your toe, reach up. Anchor down. Hinge forward, reach back. Rise tall, rotate, return. Once more, bend your front knee, anchor your back heel down, and then shift back. Anchor, hinge, rise, rotate, Return to center. Good, let's step back. This arm comes out to the side. Now if you wanna readjust so that you're on the other side of the chair for support, that's fine. Let's sweep across and open. Palm is up, thumb reaches towards the back of the room. One more. This time we'll reach across and hold. Choose if you'd like to anchor with the other hand above or below the joint and then relax your shoulders, circle wrist. Other direction. Bring your arm out in front, support behind the elbow, pat yourself on the back. Then guide your elbow up, don't push. Find a pain-free range of motion. Take a big deep breath. On the exhale, we'll release the elbow down. And then we'll guide again, up. And down. And then back up and we'll keep it there. Release the supporting arm. Arm reaches up and then out in front. Palm is up and let it stretch towards the back side. Feel a nice little stretch here and then we will release. You can stretch your arm out and up. And then again, you can just reach down and reach up and lengthen your spine. Or if it's right for you, a little side lean. Return tall, sweep your arm out and down. Now I'm gonna turn so that I'm facing the back of my chair and I'm gonna walk my legs out a little bit wider. So use the chair to help you get your legs a little bit wider. Toes are forward, shift your weight to this side and then notice how I push my hips back and then rise up to center and then do the other side. Shift and then push back. Feel the stretch in your inner thigh and then come back up to center. All right, let's do a little flow here, out. Up, other side, shift your weight over, then back, then up. All right, this time I want you to hold on this side, stretch your arm out. Now rotate your heart in that direction and your arm will elevate just a little tiny bit. Find the range of motion that's right for you. Return to center, let your hand come down to your thigh, push up and then we'll just repeat that on the other side. So I'm gonna shift my weight, hips go back, stretch to the other side. Then rotate your heart in that direction and your arm will elevate and you might feel more of a stretch on the straight leg, inner thigh. Then we'll return, set our hand, push up, 
All right, relax your knees. Bring one heel in and one toe in, then switch sides. Heel and toe. Roll your shoulders back. I'm gonna face you again. One more time, shoulders roll back. All right, let's bring this all home. Arms gonna go up. And if you feel comfortable, you might clasp your hands and stretch up. Then a side lean over. I'm leading with my elbow. Rise, other side. You can relax your arms down if that's better for your shoulders and up. Sweep your arms out and down. One more time, reset your posture back. Perfect, great job, great job. This active stretch, it had elements of more intensity, more stretch and opportunities to back off. And each time you do this workout, you'll find a different way to move. Hey, make it your own and enjoy every part of the workout, improving your mobility and your flexibility. Be sure to subscribe to our channel because you don't want to miss any of our workouts. I'll see you next time.